because today I'm making a great dish from Taste of Home magazine. It's chicken paillard with a cherry sauce and parsley rice. Mm. And the recipe was submitted by Lisa Spear, who joins us now from Palm Beach, Florida. So Hello, welcome, Lisa, Lisa, to our home. Hi, Lisa. First of all, what, everybody's raving about what, you're, what they're drinking. So what is it that you made? This drink, what is that? Well, those are uh, raspberry swirled lemon milkshakes. Oh. Uh, basically just a lemon milkshake made with lemon sorbet and vanilla ice cream oh. with a, van a, excuse me, a raspberry puree. That's a, it's, wow. a, it's delicious. Well, they've already downed half of it. But while they're enjoying your drink, um, I'm, we're going to make the chicken pie art, but could you please tell everybody how you came up with this idea? Well, you know, my husband could eat chicken paillard every night, and I got bored with just making it the same way. You know, I make it with lemon sometimes and herbs, but uh, I love duck um, and a cherry sauce with duck and pork, and I was thinking, you know, it could jazz up the chicken paillards, and, and it did. It turned out great, so we right. loved it and made it ever since. One of, I'm going to ask if you could kindly bring in, uh, we made some for everybody here, so enjoy the chicken paillard. don't have to be about it. Just bring it in. Just bring it in. <laughs> now, Mark's already down. Do you have I'm done with my drink. <laughs> I know a chicken paillard now that you have to make, you have to pound it really, really thin. And sometimes that's difficult to do and you t end up tearing the chicken. So what are some tips that you can give us about how to flatten your chicken? Oh, sure. Well, this is my favorite part because it's so therapeutic. You can actually pretend it's someone who's giving you a hard time when you've had a bad day. <laughs> oh, would that be Mark? <laughs> can watch this, Mark. <laughs> like that? Oh, oh, oh. How is that? Mark? <laughs> okay. She needs no motivation. Yeah. yeah right. Has plenty. Okay, so it's nice and flat. You know, you can also ask your butcher, too, to flatten it for you. They'll be happy to do that if you say please. Okay, so, all right, so I did that. There you are. So, um, uh, what you, you put it in between two pla uh, pieces of plastic, and yes. then you're going to use your meat ma or your mallet. This side is for when you want to tenderize the beef, so don't use the side that's serrated because otherwise you'll tear it. So we use the flat side. Isn't that right, Lisa? That's correct. Yes, Very good. absolutely. Okay, so now we're going to sprinkle the chicken with some salt and pepper. Okay, a little bit on each side. I'll do that. Pop that over. Um, and my, ooh, look at that smoking. Now, if I don't have yeah. one of those mallets, can yeah. I just use like a hammer? You could use a pan. You could use one of these skillets mm. if you want. You you ordered. Uh, you have the cast iron skillet. They're you too small for that. Ah, you could uh, definitely <laughs> use God, that. There you go. <laughs> boom, there boom, you go. Left and right. A little bit more salt. Right, chef. You can use a. a, a, a yeah. You can also use a, uh, what do you call them, a rolling pin. You know, you a want. small okay. saucepan really works, and I was just joking, you know, God gave us two mallets. So. There you go. There, there you go. go. Yeah. So we're going to saute this on each side, and because they're very, very thin, uh, you just follow the, the direction. How long do you cook yours for, Lisa? Well, you know, it depends on the heat that I use. I kind of like to start out um, at a high heat or medium high, sort of sear them on both sides so they're golden, and, and then turn the heat down to medium and let them cook through. All right. Well, that is great. And then when after you finish sautéing your chicken, it's you're going to have little brown bits and pieces on the bottom of your pan like this. And that's you just leave it and you'll remove <laughs> excuse me, you'll remove the chicken and then you're going to sauté your onion with your butter and some garlic. Yeah. Because now we're making the sauce for this. There we go. And then you'll cook that at, uh, cook that for one or two minutes until it's tender. And that to that Mm, we're going to add some balsamic vinegar Ooh. Wow. and some port wine. And you're going to cook it there. There you go. And then what you'll do is you'll just cook it down because you want it, you'll cook it for about a minute longer. And then you're going to want to cook it down. We have some tart cherries over here. Oh. I'm going to add that. That's and uh, this, the tart cherries will plump up in this, uh, in the balsamic vinegar. Oh, I'm going to turn this over. There's a lot going on here, Lisa. Okay. Yeah, so the chicken stock, over. too, because okay. you want to deglaze that pan with yeah. the, uh, we want to deglaze the chicken it. stock. So we're going to put the chicken stock in here like this. And then we're going to cook this down until it gets thick, right? And Hello. then after it cooks down, it's going to be thick like this. See how beautiful that is? Ooh, look at that. Okay. Sweet. Oh, my gosh. I could just pour. I would pour this over ice cream. Wow. Yeah, okay. It's really good. So we have our rice over here. The instructions or the recipe, of course, is on our website and also on Taste of Home magazine. We have our rice. I'm going to serve it like that. And then we'll take our chicken, which is in the oven. Look at this, you guys. Look at that. You're like a strange chef. Look at that. 
use it like, like that. On top. On beautiful. top. Look at that. And then we'll pour this delicious port wine sauce or this wine sauce, mm. cherry sauce over. Like that. Oh. But with part of the, you, you would have the parsley and the butter in, in the rice as well. It kind of gives it a green oh, flavor, yes. and a green color, and makes yes. it look good. But you know what? Since I forgot to do that, I'm going to just do that. Yeah. There you oh, go. Beautiful. Yeah. And look how beautiful. Beautiful dish, Lisa. Just beautiful.